Hello YouTube, this is Menji, long time no see. Um, today I am going to do a unpacking video of my Ecogenera pre-order. I already went ahead and cut open the box. So, uh, you guys can see they're wrapped in this type of um, newsprint paper. And they're all uh, shipped uh, without any media to, you know, sanitize plants to uh, decrease the weight of the shipments so they are not in the best state I would say oh so here it is this is um, the Lycassi microbulb and uh, let's see the condition the bulbs are a bit shriveled but the plant looks pretty good I was you know, it's nothing is really rotten. There's a couple, you know, bits of it, but that's all right. So let's check the condition of the roots. I'm not expecting it to come with a excellent root system. Well, as expected, yeah, the roots are pretty much dead. But it's okay. This is cool for what I'd order. Um... All right, let me set this aside and with the correct tag so I don't mix things up. Whoa. All right, so this is the uh, Suffernitis. Let's see if my camera will focus. Suffernitis uh, Cochnea round form. Um, it's a type of, it's in the Catalea family, but it's a miniature and with fantastic red flowers that I absolutely adore. Oh, there's a tiny little growth right there. Um, wow, this is actually in very good condition. There's some type of moss. I don't know if you can see that comes with it, which I adore. I love collecting moss from my orchid orders. There is some in very interesting coloration on the leaves. You see that purple striping? I am not so sure if that's... I'm pretty sure that's the correct pigmentation. Okay, anyway, let's set that aside. It's Suffernitis. Wow. That is a really tiny one. That's really cute. I think this is the one that's... Uh, a close relative to another Leptatis uh, uh, species that people in Brazil used to flavor their milk and it tastes like vanilla beans so uh, I'll put the name right here yeah anyway that's really cute and it looks okay it's a little bit dehydrated but um, I'm pretty sure we recover in time and it's mounted on the cork <gasps> oops all right, so this happened. A little, little leaf came off, but you know, it happens. That's all right. Oh, this is a really nice size for this uh, species. Again, it's a miniature Lelia. I have this thing for Rupiculus Lelias. Uh, they're just the most adorable thing because of their uh, sort of stubby bulbs and very short um, height. I think this is looking good. Nothing. The roots are actually pretty okay. So that's a good thing. I hope I didn't jinx myself, but this is uh, Pafania New Decore. Alright, this is a high humidity plant, um, so expect it to have some problems. Uh, this leaf is a goner. Um, have to be very careful with this one. The bulbs are not looking too great, but nothing so far what I from what I see. There's no discolorations, no rotting so far. Alright. Tightly wrapped. Uh, yeah, the root system is pretty much gone. Um, well, there's one good roots, 
and what? Yeah, there's a <laughs> there's an extra suitable. Oh, it broke into two. Wow, that's not very nice. Broke into two plants, um, and there's some kind of dead bulbs, which are. It's, and there's a little rotting on it, um, yeah, but for this plant that's requires high humidity, expect it. You know, maybe I can still propagate this plant because this bulb still looks good. All right, anyway, uh, that's the fifth orchid, Pafinia Nudecorae. Um, oh, this one, this is, uh, Polycycnus barbata. Okay, this is looking really good. I love orchids. That anything that's some shape like Stanhopias. Yeah, there's something about orchids like that. Uh, big um, round bulbous um, pseudobulbs with very, very wide palm like leaves. I love it. So. This one is looking good. I mean, judging by the suitable, it's definitely stressed a little, but the roots on the newest growth looks okay. All right, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, anyway, that's good. All right, that's the polycycnus, cygnus. I would have to, uh, learn Latin to pronounce everything correctly, right? Let's say it's kind of a yellow lycassi, but it's not like the lycassi, because obviously that is a different genius name. But um, it's kind of like a lycassi, but we'll see in a second. God. <laughs> All right. So obviously, as you see, there's some mm -mm, bacterial infection. Let me not touch it because I'm afraid it might infect others. Uh, it's okay. It's only in the beginning of the leaf, which I can trim off. Yes. So that's gone. And that's going to be gone. And uh, yeah. So um, yeah, anyway, Echogenera ships its plant wrapped in where's sphagnum moss. Well, not very wet, but moist, definitely. And I don't think that's the best way, but that's the way they do it. Um, you know, can't complain for the price of the plant and the variety of the plants that they carry. So you're taking a risk whenever you order something like this. Um, but I, I wasn't afraid to bite the bullet. Uh, okay, so... The roots uh, are not, I'm probably dead. Uh, this is not looking great, but uh, with this little new growth right here, this will definitely recover. Anyway, this does look like a lycasty, right? A more palm-like lycasty, right? This is a uh, Oncidium volcanicum. Gosh, Latin, man. How do people pronounce it? So, wow. Okay, this is one. This is the one that needs a little repair. That is not looking good. That leaves is coming off soon. And this. Okay, that's gone. Woo! So um, I'm probably gonna have to put do some kind of quarantine process on these orchids, since uh, it's definitely not good to let my other healthy orchids come in contact with unknown orchids. Uh, oh no. I, did I rip something? Okay, there's certain part of this plant that is not looking too good. Um, yeah. It's not, definitely not the best looking of them all. There used to be a new growth, but it has been crushed. So goodbye. So that is a spent flower spike that tells me this is a blooming size plant, which is fantastic. Okay. 
Looking good. Uh oh. The suitable is rotten. That is not good. I might just twist that off. That's not a good sign. All right, that's going straight into the trash. Oh, OMG. Okay, there is something that looks really long. That probably is eight out of nine already. So that's my last plant and I know what it is. I think I saw a spike. So let's see. Okay, here's the tag. All right, this is a big package. Holy cow. I'm going to run out of space. Yike. Ay, yike. Unexpected. Oh, whoa. Oh, holy cow. Echo Genera. Okay, that. Let me conclude this. All right. See that? Yeah, this is definitely a gigantic orchid. That's the size of my hand. This is definitely an orchid worth worth your purchase. Look at this by. Oh, closer look. Yeah, I hope this spike will develop. Um, this is how long. The orchid is. This is 29 inches. Well, I'll say, yeah, 29 inches. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm five feet two. Uh, yeah, that's about half of me. <laughs> okay, that's great. And this spike is definitely going to elongate. Um, maybe even grow like a vine. Looking at it, it definitely looks like something that would. Uh, sort of wrap around your windows and oh god I'm just looking at my orchid growing space and I don't think I have any more space for this orchid mmm coffee um anyway this entire order cost me $185 which I think it's definitely worth it considering how much uh, I got and the variety of plants and the size of the plant. There are a couple of them that's, you know, a little bit, uh -huh. there's a couple leaves that I gotta trim off, but overall there's no dead plants, which is fantastic. And look at the spike. <laughs> this plant itself is worth like a hundred bucks, so. Um, I'm very happy with my order and thank you Equigenera. Um, Equigenera is a nursery located in Ecuador that does a lot of um, international orchid shows in which they will accept um, pre-orders. Uh, what that means is uh, by the time they go to your country, they will ship out the orchids to your home address when they arrived in your country. Um, in that way, you saved a lot in terms of shipping and handling because uh, when they go to a country, they do shows, they bring a lot of plants there. And I think they, I'm just making assumptions here, but uh, they probably have a way to um, sanitize all the plants. So all the pre-ordered plants are included within that shipment of orchids in which you do not have to pay extra for the, the CITES, or I'm not so sure exactly it's called but some kind of sanitary certificates which are very costly if you were to order directly from Equigenera. You can still order, order direct uh, directly from this nursery but trust me it's really costly but by doing the pre-orders uh, you know when, when you have a show locally that they will attend um, you can do these pre-orders and your plant will might be you know, arrived a little late. I think I ordered this back in November 2016 and now it's January 17th I'm sorry January 17th 2017 so uh, I waited a couple months for this thank you for watching perhaps I'll see you guys next time I don't know when I'm gonna upload my next video but yeah bye